Now we're holding at the two dots. It's the skinniest lines, three lines, three lines from the, the bottom, from the last skinniest line. It's the, and there's two dots over there. The last word on the line is an aleph slash resh. That stands for Amar Rav. Okay, Gemara is going to about to deal with a topic of we've seen before that a person is allowed to dive in Mariv of Shabbos before Shabbos. We've seen that he must uh, um, separate himself from doing malacha. If he does, if if he davens Mariv before Shabbos, then he could only do that on condition that he actually accepts Shabbos upon himself and he separates from doing malacha. Now the Gemara has a new question. Okay. I see that I have to act in accordance with Shabbos, even before Shabbos. What about, does it also work to make a kula, to make a leniency for me? Could I make Kiddush in that time? The Torah says I must make Kiddush. So now, it's not really Shabbos, right? It's only that I've accepted Shabbos upon myself, which brings a certain level of Shabbos upon me. But it's not the real Shabbos. For example... If a person was chas v'shalom to be mechal al Shabbos, if a person was to go against Shabbos, the halacha is he's not responsible um, in based in in the courts. The courts wouldn't punish him. So why? Because the level of Shabbos is m- far lower level before the real Shabbos than on Shabbos itself. So Gemara wants to know what about kiddush? Am I allowed to make kiddush? Can I fulfill my mitzvah of kiddush? Before Shabbos, and even though, even though I'm not gonna and and not going to repeat it afterwards, I'm going to use this kiddush that I've made before Shabbos for after Shabbos for for my for my real mitzvah of kiddush. And even though and when Shabbos comes, I won't make my Shabbos, I won't make kiddush anymore. Can I do that or not? So now let's see the Gemara. Amar Rav Avin, Rav Bar Avin, he reported. That Rav Tzali shall Shabbos be Erev Shabbos. Rav Davin Tzali means the Davin. Rav Tzali shall Shabbos be Erev Shabbos. Rav Davin the Shabbos Tefila on Erev Shabbos. Rav Yishaya Matli shall Mot Tzali Shabbos be Shabbos. And Rav Yishaya Davin the the Mariv of after Shabbos he Davin that on Shabbos. Rav Tzali shall Shabbos be Erev Shabbos. Omer Kedusha Lakos when Rav we're starting now the first medium wide line. Rav Tzali shall Shabbos be'er Shabbos. When Rav Davin shall Shabbos be'er Shabbos. Omer Kedusha Lakos. Did he say Kiddush? Kedusha Lakos. A Kiddush on a cup. Oh, ain't no Omer Kedusha Lakos. Or did he perhaps he did not say Kiddush? We do not allow him to make Kiddush. He has to wait till it's Shabbos itself. He can't go and make Shabbos before or hand. Says the Gemara. So this is the question. Answers, says the Gemara. Toshima. I'll bring you a proof. Right? Come in here. I'll bring you a proof. To Amar Rev Nachman Amar Shmuel, Rev Nachman said in the name of Shmuel, Amar Shmuel means in the name of Shmuel that Mispalel Adam shall Shabbos be Erev Shabbos the Omer Kedusha Lakos, and that a man is allowed to daven Shabbos be Erev Shabbos and to say Kedusha Lakos v'Hilchas Akavasi, and the halacha follows him. So we see clearly the Gemara has a statement that that a person is allowed to say Kiddush. In the times of Tosef Shabbos, and probably a lot of you guys, you realize this, you know this. We see it, our families do this. Our families make Shabbos before Shabbos, especially in the summertime. Not especially, probably only in the summertime. But in, when there's days when it's only going to get dark late at night, so very often families make Shabbos before Shabbos, before it actually gets dark, before it's actually Shabbos, and then they go and they have their meal, and they start their meal, and it's still light outside. So we, that, the reason why we're doing that is because we're relying on this Gemara. This Gemara says that. That Mispala Adam shall Shabbos for Erev Shabbos for Mekudu Shalakos. It was a question in our Gemara. And our Gemara is the source for this. Continues the Gemara. Rabbi Shaya Matzli shall Matzli Shabbos for Shabbos. Omer Avdala Alakos. Oh, no, Omer Avdala Alakos. When Rabbi Shaya, we reported before that Rabbi Shaya was davening, davening motz, uh, the Marav of Motzai Shabbos on Shabbos. So what about over there? Omer Avdal Alakos, or ain't Omer Avdal Alakos? Could he make Avdal on the cup or not? So, why not? Why, why, yes, why not? The really, question is, is, we already established that you could say Kiddush beforehand, so why wouldn't Avdal be the same thing? Why should you not be able to daven 
have, say Havdalah on the coast, even though it's still Shabbos. So we explained in class that, that, um, that here, it's, it's not something that you want to be doing to show that you're eager to end Shabbos. It has this, you're showing, you're doing the thing which is natu- normally done after Shabbos is finished. You're making a separation between Shabbos and the weekday, which follows Shabbos. You don't want to start thinking about the weekday which follows Shabbos on Shabbos itself. It doesn't have proper, it's not, it, lacks a service, it lacks a respect for Shabbos. Right? By the way, this is a big thing to take from here. We don't stop and say, I mean, the Gemara is saying it's not a proper thing to be thinking on Shabbos, to be discussing, or, you know, rise of Shabbos and we're going ice skating, this and that. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy Shabbos. Shabbos is unbelievable. Enjoy the Shabbos. If you don't realize how unbelievable it is, says the Gemara, what the Gemara is telling us is that we have to figure out what is so unbelievable. The Gemara is saying that Shabbos is something we don't think about it afterwards. You don't think about the weekday afterwards. Just experience, experience Shabbos. Continues the Gemara. Yeah, so we still haven't, we have a question, right? Do you, can't, do you say Abdullah on the coast or not? Says the Gemara. Toshima, I'll bring you a proof. I'll prove it to you. To Amr of Yehuda, Amr Shmuel, that Rabbi Yehuda said in the name of Shmuel, Mispalal Adam shall motzai Shabbos for Shabbos. A person in Gadavan's um, Tfilas, Mispalal Adam shall motzai Shabbos for Shabbos. The Omer have Dalla Kos. Again, we have Shmuel says straight out that when a person Davin's the Mariv of after Shabbos on Shabbos itself, he could say have Dalla. He could also continue and say have Dalla on the coast, right? Even though it's still Shabbos, he could start. He's saying have Dalla. I've never seen this done before. Amar Reb Zera, Amar Reb Asi. Reb Zera said in the name of Reb Asi, Amar Reb El Lazar, Amar Reb Chanina. Okay, so we see the careful, the how careful they were to say it over in the name of the right person. Amar Reb Zera, Amar Reb Asi, Amar Reb El Lazar, Amar Reb Chanina. Listen to this line. Amar Rav. So five people, right? Five. Reb Zera, Reb Asi, Reb El Lazar, Reb Chanina, in the name of five people. They. He said, but sad Amudzeh, next to this pillar, they got excited. They were standing right next to a pillar. He said, next to this pillar, his spouse Rabbi Shmal Bar Rabbi Yosi, Bez Reish stands for Bar Rabbi, means Rabbi Shmal Bar Rabbi Yosi, the son of Rabbi Yosi, shall Shabbos, he davened, shall Shabbos, but Erev Shabbos. He davened the tefillah of Shabbos on Erev Shabbos. Okay, so that was his report. Now comes in Ula, and he messes up the whole story. Says the Gemara, Ki Asa, when he came, when, Ki, when, Asa came, Ula, Ula, when Ula came, Amar, he said, no, 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 you got a lot of details wrong over here in the story. Number one, Bitsad Tamarahave. It wasn't a pillar, it was a day tree. Number two, Volo Bitsad Amarahave. Volo Rabbi Shmal Bar Rabbi Yosihave. Also, you said that who was the one that Davin Shabbos early? You say that it was Rabbi Shmuel Bar Rabbi Yossi. Nope. Sorry. That's your second mistake. Ella, Rabbi Lazar Bar Rabbi Yossi. He was his brother. Rabbi Lazar, the son of Rabbi Yossi, have And number three, the third mistake that you made, it says, Ula, Velo shall Shabbos be Erev Shabbos, and not of Shabbos on Erev Shabbos. Have Ella, shall Motzoi Shabbos have Rather, it was Motsai Shabbos. That's when it happened. It was Motsai Shabbos. So, it wasn't, right? It wasn't Friday. It wasn't that he was davening the Shabbos davening and it was Friday. Rather, it was the davening of the Mariv of Motsai Shabbos. He was davening it on Shabbos. That is the end of this, this recording.